Congress has included $15 billion in the stimulus bill expected to pass today to provide economic relief to many music venues that have been closed because of the pandemic. Except for virtual shows, music has pretty much stopped altogether. And today's Positively Colorado, one local artist is trying to spread the word that it's not just musicians hurting, it's an entire industry. Chapultepec Jazz Club, also known as the Peck, has lived in the heart of Lower Downtown since the 1930s. The news that El Chapultepec is closing hit the community hard, especially for many musicians in Colorado. One of them, the keyboard player for the wildly popular jam band String Cheese Incident, Kyle Hollingsworth. He says it made him think about all the people struggling right now because the bands aren't touring. It's the, uh, the managers, the uh, production teams, it's the crew, it's the agents. An empty Red Rocks during concert season just isn't right. And for Hollingsworth, having the Red Rocks shows canceled hit home. I'm not going to say sadness, but a little, a little bit of depression about like when's normal going to be normal again. And, and I'm sure now that I look at this, it's not just the musicians, it's everybody in our field. String Cheese Incident has managed to keep somewhat busy working on new music and doing virtual performances. A much smaller Kyle Hollingsworth band did a few shows this summer to about 150 people each. He says some music is better than no music. Just playing music again was an emotional Ugh. It hurts swelling for me. I feel like that's part of what I'm worried about is some of the musicians who may not make it through here, the ones that don't have enough means to get through this, we might lose some hearts and souls of incredible artists that won't be able to strive to continue through this. And that is why he's hoping Congress and fans will do what they can to support the industry during the pandemic and why he can't wait to get back to doing this hopefully sometime next summer. Hollingsworth says people should try to support the music industry by watching shows online, buying music from their favorite bands, and buying tickets to show that may be happening next summer. If you have a story that is positively Colorado, shoot Gary an email at gary.shapiro at 9news.com.